Good morning, gentlemen, and a happy new year to you. Yes, here at Elevated Recovery, our new year begins on December 1st. And if you watch my live video a few days ago, you'd understand why. But in summary, it allows us to get a jump start on the new year. We can test out our goals and resolutions over the month of December. And by January, we figure out what's working for us and what's not going to work. We stay motivated and we avoid the dip and the crash and the disappointments that comes for a lot of men and companies uh, in February and March. So uh, for the past four years, we've done this quite well and we've grown year after year and the results that our clients have been receiving. And uh, this is one of the things I would attribute it to. It's also great for your reboot if you're trying to end your behavior. Don't wait till January to get your shit together. Get it together now. This is where it really matters. This is where that energy of the holiday season pulls you down. This is where a lot of people are mentally checking out. This is man, this is created by man. It makes no difference. December, November, holidays, in the grand scheme of things, to God, to the universe, these are man-made things. They are irrelevant. But if you choose to, you know, go with the matrix and, uh, and take it easy through the month, that is on you. I have nothing against it. I think we all need to take a break sometimes. And if your break is in December, take it. Personally, <laughs> I've taken a lot of breaks this year. Enough for me anyway. Um, I wanted to talk today about patience. It's been on my mind. And I was reflecting um, as I put together my goals for the year. I was reflecting on how hot my year started. And it continued. There was a little bit of a dip and then it, it picked up again. And I realized that over the years, and maybe you can relate to this, there were some times that patience became a cop-out for me. You know, patience became a cop-out when it came to some of the big goals I needed to accomplish in my life. But I'm 38 years old right now. There were things that I could have done earlier in life, but I told myself to be patient. So I listened to somebody on being patient and pa patience is truly a virtue but it is also truly a cop-out and a miserable excuse in many cases i speak about the concept of seasons when you're quitting your behavior with pornography we have a holistic program so it's important to work on every aspect of your life physical mental emotional social which includes your dating life your financial reboots and so on and it's important to pick your seasons right, right? I've often said that some, some seasons don't match. The season for, you know, having a kid and getting married is probably not the best season for building a business, right? But you'll, you'll hear so many coaches and influencers and whatever kind of figures start giving you the blueprints for like, oh, here's how you have a kid and stay super balanced and, and manage your time while running an eight-figure business. Motherfucker, just, you wouldn't have to do that if you, if you chose not to have a kid, right? And you might be listening to this and going like, oh, no, you don't understand, you know? Those are, those are difficult decisions to make. Those are, those are not the, uh, been in a relationship for 14 years, right? I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be with somebody who would like to have kids, right? I know the sacrifice it takes, but I also know about whether it's yourself or yourself with your partner, really sitting down and despite urges and the push of society, despite conditioning, despite some of the things you want, it's really looking through it and going like, do we, do we really want to work on four or five seasons right now, right? Right, what is the cost we are going to pay down the line if we choose to do two things or four things four four seasons right now what will we give up for instance you'll see a lot of people who decide okay fine i'm going to get married have a kid and you're like in your 20s or whatever and i'm going to build a business then your physical health suffers now you need to go through this whole energy thing of trying to figure out how you can work out, run your business, or move forward in your career and raise your kids while fucking trying to quit pornography. 
right? Something is going to break. You may have short periods of time, bursts of energy, where you're really good on the physical area, really good at another place, but something will keep breaking. Why? Because we're not designed to do that, right? Balance does not exist, right? A man who says he's living a balanced life does not know his priorities. So what are you telling yourself that you're going to be patient about? If you have decided to go this route, I truly believe that it is the most advantageous route for any man is choosing one or two seasons he's going to focus on and going all out. If you choose to go this way and you choose to go into 2023 doing this, you cannot tell yourself that you're going to be patient. You must face the fear regardless of what it is. If you're going to quit your job and you're going to go into something new, if you're going to leave a relationship, if you're going to go all out on controlling your sexual behavior, if you're going to move to another state, if you're going to transform your physique, if you're going to heck, get on a medication and you've been scared of it because you have some mental health issues, whatever it is, you have to move forward. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to wait three more months to see how things work out in the relationship. I'm going to wait a few more months here because, you know, that manager I don't like at my job has left, so things might be better. I'm going to wait till the beginning of the year because there's a discount on this and this and this. I think like December, it's like time for me to spend time with my family. So, um, you know, I think I'll wait till January, February before I make, I'll wait till summer. It's better to move into summer, right? I need to save up money for like, so you just get patient. Now, some of these might sound legitimate to you. My, my whole point when I began this video is, have you identified which are cop-outs? which are excuses. And all I want to say to you guys is that when you identify something that you are procrastinating on or avoiding, understand that that fear, that uncertainty, that stepping into the unknown, that falling off the cliff and just hoping that the fucking parachutes is going to, is going to save you, that is the zone that you need to be in to grow. Some of you are not growing. You think you're growing, but all that is happening is the default programming. You stay in a place long enough and due to attrition, you get what? You get promoted. You work at something for long enough years and then out of just sticking to it and being consistent, but not taking a single risk not doing what you know you should do, right? You start, your business becomes whatever, $100,000 a year business. It could have been a $9 million business. It could have been a $15 million business. You could have been, you could have been promoted in your career and be making $150,000 a year. But you're sitting there, you're happy with your 75K and you've been working with that company for 12, 13 years. You could have stepped out, but you were scared. Now you're at a point you should have left the relationship, but you didn't. All you can do is justify it now because you're in your 40s. You're in your 40s and now they all do, well, you know what? It's going to be so difficult for me. I'm an older guy to like get with, with, with uh, you know, get with, with a younger woman. And, you know, I just haven't dated. I don't think I can, you know, and I have a good thing with my wife. Well, y'all aren't fucking. There's no intimacy. Y'all are pretty much roommates. You're addicted to pornography. And for years, you wanted to leave the relationship. You've even forgotten that you were unhappy in the relationship, right? Now you're trying to read books and listen to some dude on YouTube who tells you about how to save your sexless marriage. Sometimes to save it is you got to fucking leave that thing. You guys know the truth. I know many of you guys will just, oh, I want to stay in the matrix, you know? Ignorance is bliss. It certainly is, gentlemen. You have to step into the panic zone. It is important for you to step into the panic zone because that is where your unconscious mind begins to muster all your resources. When you hear all the cliche sayings of not living up to your potential or, or we're only using like 5% of our mental capacity, right? All these things. What it's truly implying is just the power of your unconscious mind. And many of us do not know how to access it. It's not just about affirmations. Sometimes it's about taking risk. It's about forcing your unconscious mind to serve you.
It's letting it know like, bro, it's do or die. When your unconscious mind truly feels that you are in a sort of survival mode, I don't mean a negative survival mode, but it's just like, okay, cool. There are no other options. It cannot think of any other options. There's no mom or dad. There's no one to bail you out, right? There's, there's no more, your credit cards have hit their limits. There's, there's no more chances to end your behavior with pornography. You done did it all. You've done the 12 steps. You've, you've gone to therapy. You've done it all. You're really acting out in a dangerous way, right? Your life is a complete mess. When you really look at the time you spend on porn, you're just like, fuck, I keep going back to that shit the entire day. I'll work hard a little bit, then take a porn break. Work hard a little bit, take a jerk off break. Work hard a little bit, take a porn break. You keep doing that shit in stressful times. You realize that there's nothing else. You're just like, okay, like this is it. This is it. It's so obvious, right? I'm addicted. When you find yourself in that situation, make the scary decision, whatever it is. Whatever it is, leave the state, leave the job, leave the relationship, change it up. Sign up with that fitness coach and lose weight, put on muscle, save your life, save your health, right? Work with the therapist, work with us. If you've spoken to our reboot strategist, do what you need to do. Be resourceful. Now you might be sitting there thinking, I don't know how to be resourceful. Don't worry. Your unconscious mind knows how to be resourceful. If you were to find yourself on the street, and even if you think back, back in the day, to times where you were struggling in something, you were resourceful. Even if it was you saw this woman and you're like, this woman's gonna be my wife. What were you doing? You couldn't go to sleep. You were laying up, how am I going to talk to her? How am I gonna get, how am I gonna do this? Or if your real relationship really means something to you, how will I save this, right? You can't sleep. Suddenly there's a new burst of energy there are all these ideas percolating. You're like, how, right? How do I save the business? How do I change my body? How do I help this person that means so much to me? How do I make the money? How do I end this behavior, right? All your unconscious mind. And the reason I brought this up was because when I started off this year and I was looking back at all the things I accomplished, panic zone all the fucking way, all the way. I was living in the panic zone. It is not a balanced life. But I'm happy. <laughs> I am happy. I truly am. Um, and I'm going to keep stepping into the panic zone. And brothers, this is an invitation. Come join me. Take a risk. And alfalfa. Hair just growing like what's going on top of my head but yeah <laughs> come join me gentlemen December we're gonna be covering a lot of things we're gonna be talking a lot next year about the unconscious mind we're gonna be diving deep into it we're gonna start working on trauma more we have two trauma reboot coaches the biochemistry reboot program has upgraded we now get your blood work. We now go through your hormone panels. We now let you know what's happening with all your testosterone levels. We are the future of porn addiction recovery. Make no mistake about that. And everything I talk about, we can help you get there with your relationships, your sex life, your health, your finances, even your spiritual reboot capital. Come do some meditation sessions with us, all right? All right, guys, I'm gonna finish up my run. That is my message for you guys today. Have a happy new year, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.